Welcome to the King Version 2 channel. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Don't be stingy because everything is free. Thank you. Bill Simmons, a Spotify executive and podcaster, referred to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as fucking grifters when they left the firm. On his show on Friday, Bill Simmons, who sold The Ringer to Spotify in 2020 and has progressed up the senior echelons of the tech firm, called Prince Harry and Meghan Markle fucking grifters. After signing a contract three years ago for their production business, Archwell, purportedly worth $20 million, the Sussexes and Spotify acknowledged their breakup on Thursday. The agreement was a component of Spotify's increased investment in podcasting, which also included the purchase of Ringer for almost $200 million. Though it still has Joe Rogan and a few other well-known presenters on its podcast roster, the audio BMF has trimmed back and let go of workers, consolidated divisions, and prioritized the creator economy above big-ticket talent more lately. Simmons, who still runs The Ringer and is also head of podcast innovation and monetization at Spotify, made the comments on his eponymous podcast, The Fucking Grifters, that's the podcast we should have launched with them, he said. I gotta get drunk one night and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry to try and help him with a podcast idea. It's one of my best stories. Bill Simmons is bringing the Harkles bullshit to light before a gigantic audience that never cared or knew much about them before. Simmons is a former ESPN guy, and every sporty male in America knows who this guy is and listens to his podcast. I'm so glad more mainstream people are calling the Harkles out. They need to be called out on their shit. Harry needs to be kicked out of the U.S., and Markle needs to be publicly shamed into irrelevance. The Markle-hosted podcast Archetypes was one of Archwell's offerings. Trevor Noah, Mariah Carey, Mindy Kaling, and Serena Williams were among the celebrities that appeared on the program as guests as it examined the social influences that have inhibited the advancement of women. It was not renewed for a second season. However, it could come back on another platform. In April of last year, Markle joined WME, which also represents Archwell. Even while the royal couple was under contract with Spotify, Simmons did not keep his mouth shut about them. He called Prince Harry's association with the same corporation embarrassing and attacked him in January of last year. Shoot this guy to the sun, Simmons groused, according to the Big Lead podcast. I'm so tired of this guy. What does he bring to the table? He just whines about shit and keeps giving interviews. Who gives a shit? Who cares about your life? You weren't even the favorite son. You live in fucking Montecito and you just sell documentaries and podcasts and nobody cares what you have to say about anything unless you talk about the royal family and you just complain about them. One expert said, I was thinking that Harry would easily get distracted by crayons and Simmons would have to bring him back to the thought process in time and again. Here's a likely scenario. Simmons. Okay, Harry, you were going to talk about the Queen's Court. Harry Green. Simmons. Now focus, Harry, and Green tastes better. Harry, focus. Somewhere in the background, Megan can be heard. Daddy has your crayons, honey. Bill is such a talented commentator. I love his sports takes, but could listen to him talk about anything. But even more so, he's a really big deal in the P.O.D. broadcasting world. I'm actually surprised, in a very good way, that he spoke out. I am hoping this means the Ringer Pop Culture Podcast can speak freely now. They always carefully dodged Harry and Meghan scandals. Also, did Harry not know who Bill was when he was treating him however he did for Bill to say this now? Like, do Harry and Meghan just not care at all about anyone else? Here, Bill is an absolute expert and at the top of his field, giving advice to Harry about a field he and Meghan know nothing about, and Harry's behavior is so bad that the expert wants to talk publicly about it. Harry and Meghan are unbelievable. He's so right, though. They contribute absolutely nothing but whining and complaining about how hard it was to be royalty, 
They sit in their shitty, pun intended mansion, doing nothing for anyone, while the royals are actually out there every day, doing good work and not complaining about anything. Harry had to know since Bill was assigned to help Archwell launch multiple podcasts. That $20 million wasn't a check to Harry and Meghan. Like with Netflix, that contained funding to produce multiple podcast brands featuring Harry, not just Meghan. The attorneys at Spotify and Netflix are pros. They dangle large numbers in terms of production cost funding, but they make sure the talent doesn't make the personal big coin until A, they produce a great product, and B, the subscription sales and views result in more revenue for Spotify or Netflix. Pay is tied to monetary results, which the Sussexes have not provided sufficiently. Spotify and Bill assigned Simmons to shepherd them on this project, so they were informed. I think Harry and Meghan think everyone, including Bill Simmons, must bow to them. Look at how they took Joe Rogan on re-COVID treatments. Joe Rogan. It's like they knew nothing about him. They don't care. In their deluded world, Meghan will be Queen Dilly and Harry will be King. The best news is that the guys like Simmons speaking out will encourage others to do so as well. We need that Zoom story. One insider commented, The odious duo is finally being challenged by the mainstream media. This is what we've been waiting for, fellow sinners. I'm confident the steady drip is about to become a full-on deluge, and I am psyched. I've said before that I can always find another hobby when this one is played out, but not before I can dip my cookies in Harry and Meghan's actual tears. Let the floodgates open. If these two had any sense, they'd sell the Olive Garden, move to a smaller, affordable place out in Montana with plenty of land and fresh air for their kids to enjoy and live quietly for at least three years. No appearances, no talking to the media, nothing. Silent and unseen, other than maybe Invictus. The public is sick of them and their nonstop drama and victimhood grift, but we all know they won't go away because the only thing either of those two narcs love, other than themselves, of course, is media attention. Spotify cutting them loose clearly has nothing to do with their overall restructuring, and the good news is that they're letting it be known. Multiple outlets have reported that it's due to their lack of output. It's also ridiculous that Harry and Meghan are spinning this as similar to what happened with the Obamas. The Obamas fulfilled the terms of their deal with multiple projects. Harry and Meghan clearly didn't with just one. Bill Simmons won't be retracting anything. He was calling Harry out even when they were employed at Spotify. Harry and Meghan are going to quickly wish they were back in the UK under the auspices of the royal family. Hollywood's not going to hold back like the poor bullied palace aides. Honestly, I doubt Hollywood was thrilled that Harry and Meghan came in and secured big deals based on absolutely nothing but their titles. Now that they're proven losers and unpopular too, everything's going to come out. What do you think of Bill Simmons' shocking statements about Harry and Meghan? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.